So, uh, what's your name? Uh, John. John. How do those jeans feel, John? Uh, they feel pretty good. I used to wear like a 34 waist, but it was getting kind of tight, so I've moved up to like a 36. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, lot, it's a lot more comfortable. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can, uh, I can rip off my... you want to see me rip off my T-shirt? Uh, not like, rip particularly, it off, no. No, thanks, okay. John, no. That's Normally, not, I wear a V-neck, and I yeah. can, like, rip a V-neck, you know. Really not necessary. Get a, like a John, coffee. John, don't... nobody wants to see that. Please don't do okay. that again. So, is that... That's that, pretty much it. Thanks, John. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did you want to see my butt? <laughs> Take a wild guess here, guys. Just out of the kingdom. That I, I, it just sounds like residual mariner fever to me. Is what that sounds like. It's just so uh, like all time. Is... Yeah, whole town is just jazzed up. You know, last week at this time the Mariners they were number one. This week they well a few problems tonight. However. They have clinched the division. They've got a tie here. They've clinched that. So they had a few problems, but at least they have they've clinched the division tie. And that particularly is good news for Tanya Harding because <laughs> it, means, it means that there can now be ice skating in hell. It's basically what's happened. It's frozen over. Division. Division winners, which is all people around here are talking about, with, of course, the possible exception of the O.J. Simpson trial. Did you, you, know, you guys all saw the, the closing arguments and everything? I, you know, all you really have to do is look around Seattle to know that we are also in the grip of O.J. fever. And I mean, those, you know those guys down in Fremont who keep putting the scarves and things around that, waiting for the interurban state? You know, they dress it up for every occasion. Well, apparently, they've gotten to another Seattle landmark, this whole O.J. fever. Can we see what done? Look at this. You see that? The hammering that... I like what they did there. It's the OJ. It's knifing man now. OJ. Ooh. Ooh, not hammering man anymore. Anyway. Yeah. The OJ trial is it's affecting us in a lot of interesting ways, actually. And Bill, Bill and Tracy have been looking into it. Bill, Tracy, go ahead. Yeah, well, the verdict is in the hands of the jury, but you know, the trial itself is now a part of our lives, uh, even our language is starting to reflect our obsession with the Simpson case. Maybe you've noticed some of these new words creeping into your vocabulary. From attorney Johnny Cochran, for example, we get the verb to cochranate. <laughs> meaning to justify the indefensible. <laughs> now, Tracy here is going to use the word cochranate in a sentence. That Cairo morning show is pretty darn good, he cochranated. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, here's another one. From Detective Mark Furman, we get the adjective Furmanoid, <laughs> meaning disgusting or nauseating, as in... Ooh, does this milk smell a little Furmanoid to you? <laughs> now, needless to say, Cato Kalin has proved to be a rich source of new words. For example, to Kalinate, a <laughs> verb describing a form of work avoidance wherein a person lives in another person's place for free. <laughs> As in... Hey, man, can I kalinate at your place for a few days? <laughs> Incidentally, to remain in a mainly dormant state, lying around in a guest bungalow, is to be k 
Cato Tonic. <laughs> Okay, we can thank Judge Lance Ito for the word etosphere. <laughs> a noun meaning that mental space where time seems to drag on interminably. <laughs> As in... Every time KCTS begins one of their pledge breaks, I go into the etosphere. <laughs> a very useful word comes to us from OJ's personal vehicle. To broncostinate... <laughs> means to take your time driving home, as in... Knowing my uncle would still be at the house calinating, I broncostinated. And finally, from defense attorney F. Lee Bailey, we get the word baileyation, meaning the act of puffing yourself up to appear more important than you really are, as in... <gasps> Look at that lizard's baileyation, Jimmy. He's trying to attract a mate. <laughs> So you see, even though O.J. may be a murderer, he is a murderer who has greatly enriched our language. John? Well, thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, Tracy. That uh, makes it all very clear now. It's very interesting. Well, along with the end of the trial, it is the end of the summer. It's officially over, and that also means it's the end of the garage sale season. Now, we went to a lot of them over the summer. And we noticed that a lot of people around here are making some basic mistakes, and that's why we put together this helpful video. Take a look, won't you? <laughs> Almost Live Training Film Number 7, How to Hold a Garage Sale. Part 1, How to Decide What to Sell. If it's a purple lamp, you should sell it. If it's a hat you bought when you were drunk, sell it. And if the cat did something disgusting on it, definitely sell it. Part two, keep an eye on what your spouse is selling. <laughs> not the Playboys. Not the, not the Playboys. Just, just give me December 68, okay? Just December 68. Part three, pricing. If it's a spaghetti sauce jar that costs $2 with spaghetti sauce in it, ask $3. If you're not sure what it goes to, ask $20. And if it's broken and has rust on it, call it an antique and charge $100. Part four, people to look out for, the early bird. Hello, hello, has the sale started yet? You guys should really have your lights on, you know. The couple that wants everything that's not for sale. Hey, those pants, honey, I think those are just your size. Yeah. You might be try those on. No, Come see, on this, now, this, well, this, is a great clone, no, honey. No, no, those, this is not, no, no, this is not. <laughs> the weird guy who hates everything. Look at this crap. <laughs> Should have called it a garbage sale. I wouldn't be caught dead in this shirt. <laughs> what do you want for the shingles? The kind of old. And the dickerer. Is that TV free? Uh, no, no, this TV works great. I'm asking $40. I'll give you a nickel. Well, I can go down to 35 A dime. No, 35 Oh, keep it. There's nothing good on TV anyway, except town meeting. <laughs> How much is on? Part five. Telling your relative who dropped by unexpectedly that the vase that you're selling isn't the one she gave you for your wedding. Well, you know, somebody else gave us this one. It's just like the one you gave us in the house. It says, congratulations, Paul and Carol. Love, Alexandria. <laughs> That's her name, too. Part six. Getting rid of the weird guy who hates everything but is always the last to leave. Crap. More crap. Look, if I give you this while you leave. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Part seven. Adding things up. <laughs> hey, where's the dog? This has been a nearly successful garage sale. All right, stay with us, won't you? We have a wonderful show, and we'll be right back. Okay, listen up, everybody. Sales are down. Any ideas, Carl? We could improve customer service. That's good. Uh, Linda? Retrain our sales staff. Okay. 
Hangman, what do you think? <laughs> well, I believe you know what I think. No, I don't think I do. Well, every week you ask me what I think, and every week I tell you, and you never do it. Okay, well, try us again. Well, I think we should hang him. <laughs> okay. Okay, hang them. No bad ideas. Uh, who do you propose that we hang, hangman? Our own employees or our customers? Well, all of them. Yeah. Now, look, I can see hanging our staff, but you seriously are proposing that we hang our customers? Yeah. Okay, that is a bad idea. I knew it. I don't even know why you bother asking me. Look, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. Any other ideas? Yes, pirates, you've got your hand up. Hey, so, so bleeding lonely with this cheddar sword here and a lot of lead and plunder on your bowl. <laughs> I, I didn't get all of that, but it sounded sort of like Hangman's idea. Hey, but not the gold part of it. That was mine. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm still not getting it, but uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you spell it out in a memo and then put it on my desk, okay? Yeah, all right. I'll type something up for you. Great. Okay. Yeah, anyone else? Mr. Mass Murderer? You've been kind of quiet down there. Do you have a suggestion? Well, as a matter of fact, I do have an idea. Look, if it's a, about murdering all of them, we've already heard that, okay? Never mind. Uh, Ben, I think that you're being a little hard on mass murderer, hangman, and pirate. Arr. Why don't we at least give their suggestions a try? <laughs> Is that what you all want? Yeah. Uh-huh. Arr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well, did it? So now all of our customers and all our employees are dead. So now what do we do? Mr. Terrorist, do you have an idea? Yes, we take some people hostage and then force them to be our customers and employees. I like that idea. That is good. And then... Torture them! Okay, uh, let's hold off on the torture thing for now, but taking hostages is good. Okay, so we're gonna need guns, and we're gonna need lots of guns. We're gonna need rope. We need an Okay, all right, let's try it again. Everybody quiet. Courtney Love, uh, public service announcement, take five. Action! Hi, I'm Courtney Love. Remember, violence doesn't solve anything. So if you feel like you're going to be violent, count to ten before you do something stupid. Like the morons you are, you garbage, you stupid dumb! All right, all right, all right, cut, 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 cut! What? Oh, come on, Courtney! <laughs> what? <clears throat> the court ordered you to take an anger management class. You've got to do some public service. <laughs> and look, we figured you're a role model to young people, so we thought you could do this commercial instead of picking up litter by the freeway, okay? <laughs> But it looks like you're heading for the litter detail. Now, is that what you want? Hey, who sent you anyway? Madonna? Or Pear Jam? Or Candle Boss? Who's behind all this all crap? Right. Actually, it was Superior Court. Okay, well, it's just a bunch of BS, man. What did I ever do? Okay, Tell me that! Right, okay, okay, for starters, you were arrested on a plane in Australia for assaulting a flight attendant, and then you started kicking the plane. Okay, you ride on a plane when they run out of Diet 7-Up and see if you don't try to kick in a fuselage, man. Besides, I was out of my Valium, okay? Okay. <laughs> then at that concert up in the Arctic Circle, you punched a little Eskimo girl and you clubbed a seal. <laughs> was messing up my set! And? And I was out of volume. Oh, God. And you slugged, you slugged the lead singer of Bikini Kill. Uh-uh, I was moshing. No, you slugged her. Well, she's a bitch! Oh. 
So were you out of, well, were you out of Valium? No, I, I had my Valium that time. <laughs> but, but actually, that reminds me, I kind of need a little Valium now. Who's got my Valium? Okay, all right, Courtney. Can, Courtney, I, can Courtney, I get it right Courtney, now? Courtney, I got your Valium, okay? All right. I'm gonna, wait, 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 wait. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it Look, I'm, I'm going to give it to you, all right? I'm going to give it to you one pill at a time, all right? You get one pill for every line you get right, okay? Fine. All right. <laughs> Courtney Love public service announcement. Take six and action. Hi, I'm Courtney Love with a special message for today's youth. <laughs> Violence never solved anything. <laughs> so if you think you're gonna be violent, I want you to remember one thing. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank! Come on, man. Smokey oh, Bear is the next commercial. I'm sorry. I screwed up the card. All right, well, come on. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going. So, so always count to ten before you do something... <laughs> stupid. All right, all right, okay, great, great. That's great, that's great. Okay, that's great. Now keep it rolling, keep it rolling. We've got time to do the say no to drugs. Okay, come on, just say, say no to drugs, Courtney. Come on. Just say it. All right, all right, all right. Get a close up, get a close up. All right, look. Okay. Say no to drugs. Thank you. All right, good. We got it. This is The Late Report. In a startling twist this week, O.J. Simpson defense lawyer Johnny Cochran confessed that he actually killed Nicole Simpson <laughs> while disguised in a black cap. The University of Washington Board of Regents has passed a resolution listing 20 expectations for new UW President Richard McCormick. Included on the list are improve undergraduate studies, increase student body diversity, and make former UW football coach Don James stop doing those RV commercials. <laughs> Senator Patty Murray's new official portrait shows her wearing more makeup and lipstick than in previous photos. A change Murray attributes to a new makeup artist. Coincidentally, Murray's makeup artist was also used by Senator Slade Gorton for his <laughs> official portrait. Well, backers of the Seattle Commons have gone back to the drawing board for a new plan, one which they still insist will clean up the Mercer mess. Now, many people are confused about just what constitutes the Mercer mess, so we sent a reporter there to find out. This is Mercer, and this is the mess. <laughs> Disgusting, ain't it? Mm. Well, many area Safeway stores are giving flu shots this fall for $10. However, it's only $6 if you get the Bel Air brand flu shot. <laughs> Two skydivers parachuting in tandem near Snohomish survived a 4,500-foot freefall when their chute did not open last week. Experts say that Snohomish is actually the best place for a freefall because you have a better than 50% chance of landing on a group of plump tourists buying antiques. <laughs> well, Seattle is heavily in the grip of Mariner fever, and here with a look at some of the new Mariner merchandise is souvenir vendor Pat Cashman. Pat? Thank you, John. I recently got into this souvenir vending business. Uh -huh. It's terrific. Everybody's got Mariner fever. Yeah. And what better way to measure that fever than with your very own Mariner fever thermometer? Ah. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the oral version of this ready yet, uh -huh. but the way this thing works Actually, is... Actually, that's okay. I know how it works. It's okay. all right. I know how it works. All right. Well, you know, some of those close games caused us to practically tear our hair out, which can leave it looking shapeless and unkept, as you know, John. Yes. So to keep your hair looking its best while continuing to support your favorite team, here's what you need. Mariner Moose. Ah, oh, interesting. You just, you just put a little on your, your hand. Yeah. It's practically invisible. And you just pour it into your hair. Try a little of wow. that, Wow. All right. Works great. Yeah. You have a nice right. sheen going there. Thank you. Now, we all know that Mariner pitcher Randy Johnson's nickname is Big Unit. So yes. By golly, here is a terrific little novelty item that we call Randy Johnson's Big Unit. Can I see that pad for just a second? Yeah. Yes, sir. It is, uh, 
It's a big unit. You know, Pat, we can't show that on television. <laughs> really something, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, every Mariner fan needs a Mariner baseball cap, and here is one that's going to become a collector's item. Yeah, but yes, I mean, that's, that's a regular hat, Pat. That's oh, no, it's nothing. not. This has a retractable roof. Oh! Ah. And what better way to decorate your den than with an official Mariner's Championship poster? Isn't this a beauty? This is the real deal. And not only can you get these official posters, but an official Mariner's Championship uh, baseball, hey, hey, Pat, too. Uh, Pat, just Pat, like Pat, that. Pat, Pat, I mean, you know, I'm sorry, but this looks like you just pasted Ken Griffey's face over. This is a Sonic poster, and that, that looks like that's a Sonic basketball painted like a baseball. John, you got to give me a break on this deal. Uh, I got stuck with a lot of this Sonics crap, and I got it all in a warehouse. Uh, they were supposed to win, after all. All right, Pat, I'm sorry. Take it away, take it away. All right. Finally, classes started this week at the University of Washington. Studies will begin sometime in December. This has been the late report. Here is rock star Courtney Love with an important special message. Hi, I'm Courtney Love with a special message for today's youth. Violence never solved anything. So, if you think you're going to be violent, I want you to remember one thing. Ah, always count to ten before you do something stupid. Take it from Courtney, violence is not the answer. And remember, kids, say no to drugs. Thank you.